the Dart XL is such an intriguing wing with all its wing fences and uh, swept forward uh, wing profile I thought I'd like to try and do some science on it so I've put all these little wind indicators or telltales stuck them on the both sides of the wings I've taken the wing fences off the left hand wing left them on the right hand wing I don't really know what I'm going to find here but uh, worth a look I have tried this previously and I've made some adjustments to the positioning of the uh, wind indicators um, and the position of the camera so hopefully we'll be better I put a telltale here right behind this little wing fence here to see what was happening right behind it they call them vortex generators uh, but they just seem too big and they're directly in line with the um, cord line ideally I'd like a, a calm overcast day might be okay we'll try this anyway not too much wind around so what I'm going to do is fly around a bit just see how the air flows over the wing I've got a straight line drawn here so we can see if the telltales are at an angle to the wind from a previous test I thought it was it looked like the wind, the uh, airflow was sort of directed towards the fuselage which you'd accept expect I suppose with a swept forward wing but what do these wing fences do to these wind indicators here anyway let's fly so first of all we're going to fly around then I'll do some sort of slow passes trying to stall it and uh, we'll see what happens to the airflow I have flown this yesterday now that seems to be rolling to the left definitely rolling to the left yes I'm having to correct back to the right all the time rolling to the left there there you go so that's that's yes so that's rolling it's like the wing with the wing fences on is producing more lift uh, that's staying steady-ish let's try again rolling to the left Yep, definitely rolling to the left. There you go. Just fly around a bit so we can get a good idea of the airflow. Hopefully the uh, sun isn't making it too hard to see. That's the problem I was having yesterday. The sun would um, blot it out. High speed run. Okay. All right, I'll try some sort of slow speed stally maneuvers. Slowing it down, pulling back. There's the stall there. They're very gentle stalls, I have to say. Let's try that again. Pulling back, pulling back, high alphaing. Stall there, stall, 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 stall. Still flying nicely though. Now oh, there you go. That's interesting. Let's try that for a bit more prolonged time. Let's fly downwind. Okay, slowing down. Pulling back. Pulling right back now. That's totally stalled. It's just dipping and dipping and dipping, but there we go that sort of let go a little bit there but I've got good control even when it's fully elevators are fully back try that again for as long as I can this thing flies beautifully okay slowing down again Parachuting down, high alpha in sort of, dipping, dipping. Yeah, it just wiggles around a little bit, but still have control. Let's try that again. Bit of a roll. Inverted. Oh, it doesn't like inverted very much. 
Okay. Gliding now. Pulling back. Pulling back, right back now, all the way back. It's just bobbling up and down, parachuting down. I wonder what those telltales are doing. This is cool. Hopefully that's showing that the outer telltales aren't stalling. The inner ones have to be. Um, but the outer ones near the tips aren't stalling. And I'm wondering what the wing fences are doing to the direction of the airflow. Uh, over the, the right hand wing. Alright, I'll bring it into land. And that will be interesting to have a look at. Alright, so what does that all tell us? I can only sort of t uh, share some observations. I don't really know what the c conclusions are. I'm not a aerodynamicist and it's a pretty complex area uh, but for normal flight you can see the wind indicators or the telltales are flowing parallel to the center line so the float you can see those little uh, marked lines there the little telltales are parallel to them in normal flight so the flow isn't particularly going in towards the center in normal flight but the big thing I noticed while flying it the big difference uh, was that it continually wanted to roll to the left so the wing with the wing fences seemed to be producing a little bit more lift than the bare wing so that was interesting and the next thing is that in the high speed run I had to apply a lot of down elevator uh, to keep it from pitching up still needs a bit of adjustment on the thrust angle of the motor I think maybe a, a little bit more packing under the top two motor mounts just to uh, tilt the motor down a little bit more at the back and this is the interesting part when you're approaching the stall or doing a high alpha slow flying maneuver the flow at the front of the wing stays parallel but the flow at the back of the wing starts bending in towards the fuselage and it happens on both sides of the wing in equal amounts pretty much and the most interesting part of this is when it did actually stall the wing without the wing fences would occasionally totally stall right to the tips whereas the wing with the wing fences would only stall on the inner half so it shows that they are uh, helping to organize the flow or keep it attached in the outer part of the wing and helping to maintain control when you're flying really slowly 